So Armand Yair is back again. So the question is, can Lightning strike twice with another contender for Sneaker of the Year? What's, What's up, up C-Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy C. I'm Daddy Son. Kick Talk. And today, we're going to be Kick Talking. That's right. We're talking about the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Amamon Yair collab that just dropped. Before we get into that, though, got a couple things. First thing, if it's your first time here, do us a favor. Hit that notification bell down below so you're staying on top of all the content that we drop. And now that that's out of the way, before we dive right into the shoe, I want to take a quick moment. There has been a lot that's happened in the week, last week in the sneaker universe, right? And I don't want to go forward before we first address the passing of one of sneakers' biggest inspirations, collaborators, and just the fashion in general, right? I, we haven't said our piece on Virgil Abloh, but he was, you know, a giant in the fashion industry and did a lot for sneakers. His collab with Nike, the 10, was one of the biggest releases, collabs, just the most creative thing that we've seen kind of in sneakers. It really has changed the game mm -hmm. for sneakers in general, right? Yeah. Bring streetwear to the forefront and bridging that sneaker streetwear crossover and making it really high fashion mm -hmm. so just wanted to say that you know prayers out to his family his friends all the you know all his loved ones but big ups and r.i.p to virgil abloh all right, so let's get into this collab. This has been anticipated highly, of course, obviously, since the Air Jordan 3 collab. And my vote, you know, for Sneaker of the Year, I know I've said it so many times. This is a pair. This is Mommy Seeds. Yeah. Her own, you know, this was obviously geared towards women, mm -hmm. which was amazing. The shoe is, man, it's so butter. It's so luxurious, It's man. so luxurious, right? Ah. <laughs> and they, they did it again, right? So striking lightning twice. They got the box, right? You know, I'm a my year, it does it big. They don't yeah. just give you a simple box. Ah. This was the three box with the sleeve on it and the logos all over it. Yep. All right. So now that we talked about the three, let's talk about the one. Yeah. Ooh, look at this, man. The box. This box is next level. And I don't normally talk about boxes because that is, we don't wear boxes. Uh -huh. Do you wear boxes on your feet? I be walking around with some boxes on my feet sometimes. <laughs> but this box is fire. Yeah, it so is. So you get the sleeve, the Amamayer sleeve, right? Yeah. And then the Nike has the colors of the shoe, which is That's awesome. Sick. Yeah. Which, by the way, by the label, it's a sale in Burgundy Crush. Mm -hmm. Shoe and box, and yeah. you got all kinds of Amandier logos around it. Yeah, and Some Air Jordan logos too. Air Jordan, right, and yeah. the traditional Nike stamp on top. Yeah, and well, first let me say this: that it's actually pronounced Amamandier. I've heard people online <laughs> calling it Amamandier, 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 Amamandier. Uh huh. All of that. It's a ma manière, a ma manière, which means my way, right? I've taken French all through high school, a little bit of college too, but not even that. If you go online and just type it in, pronunciation in Google, it'll tell you a ma manière. I didn't right. take French, but I still got baguettes. <laughs> baguettes? Baguettes like the bread or diamonds? What do you think? Bread. Both of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to the box, right? You got the A logo in different places. Mm -hmm. Just fire. But that's not it with the box. Check this out. Boo! Oh, that's sick. Jump man on the lid, right? Yeah, that is cool. So that's the original Michael Jordan flight pose yeah. that would later, you know, go <laughs> on to become the logo for uh, Jordan, yeah. right? It's Wait. just a silhouette. Why is this not Michael Jordan? Bruh. That is Michael Jordan. He has hair. He had hair before he was bald, man. Kind of like me. Oh, that's the OG OG Jordan. <laughs> yes. Oh. That's a young Michael. This is Michael in 1985. Oh. Wow, that does not look like Michael Jordan. That's different Michael from 2000. Wow. This is 21. Yeah. This guy said, how was that night Michael Jordan? Because he has hair. That's pretty funny. That's like seeing a picture of me and saying, that's not you, Dad. Yeah, uh, that, that guy has hair. When I see you with hair, I'm like, wow. Totally different. Yeah, and you had like the lighter beard. It's like, I tell him all the time, his hair just went from here and just dropped down to the bottom. Rude, man, rude. <laughs> I say it's bad. Oh, it's just different. Yeah. Exactly, because it's like older, it's like wine. Exactly. Look at the wine color of the shoe. So, back to the packaging. We've got the immaculate Amamanier tissue paper yeah. inside, right? Yeah. We take both of those out, and then right. let's unveil ready? the shoe. <laughs> Look at that clean shoe. So we've got the Amamanier Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, yeah. and they call this Airness. And the great thing about Amamanier, you know, they're a luxury brand owned by, again, James Whitner, yep. Amamanier, Social Status, whole Whitaker Group company. Mm -hmm. And they just put so much into the story and the details of their shoe. Yeah. yeah so they're, I mean, high. You, you've been to the store. Talking about going to the store, that's how these were copped. 
in-store raffle. We'll give you a little sneak peek of that too in the video showing when we went to DC to the Amamanya store to enter to get these shoes. Not even to actually get them. To enter the chance to buy those shoes, right? Because again, when the shoe released online, I'm on my year's site, sold out in seconds, I wasn't able to cop them. Yep. They released our sneakers, caught an L there. So luckily we drove to DC mm -hmm. and we were able to get them, being here in the DMV. And now we wait. To the shoe. The detail on this shoe is again immaculate. Yeah. So the story behind this shoe, so it's basically there, you know, the tie-in for this shoe is called airness. Mm. And it talks to the resiliency of the black community, black people, you know, and the struggles that we grow up in. Yeah. And the ability to rise, rise above all of that mm -hmm. and to come out on top, they're calling it airness. And that's if you look on the inside uh, of the shoe, yeah. it says it embroidered onto the actual sock liner inside. Wow. It has airness in there. That is nice. This looks so, this is definitely like a luxurious shoe, man. So they talk about airness, right? Rising above. The other concept of the shoe is the rose that grew from concrete. Mm -hmm. So they give you this oh, texture. Oh, that's tough. You get it? Yeah. So the texture is not just like a cracked suede, but it's like a, you know, a, a cracked leather that really gives you like a concrete yeah. feel to that shoe. Uh-huh. And then the, the rose colored accents is what, yeah. you know, signifies like the flower, right? Uh-huh. And it's above the concrete on mm. the shoe physically oh. to signify that the rose grew out of the concrete. Nice, I like that. And if you look inside of the shoe, yes. you'll notice that you have a very nice texture here. Mm -hmm. It was very comfortable. The, ta the sock liner, the quilt, mm -hmm. just and like. You know what adjective you could associate with that? What? Luxurious. Like, it is the very. Rose. So the story here is. Uh oh, tell us. So luxurious rose grew out of the cement. Right, and the concrete, right, that's the hard, mm -hmm. takes a beating, yeah. that sidewalk, that cement, uh -huh. and out of that comes that beautiful yeah. rose, right, that uh -huh. life. Which mm -hmm. relates to the struggles that black people faced here in America, mm -hmm. and we're rising out of that. Rising out of it. Yes, right? sir. And he tied into the sneaker, so that makes crazy. that connects that shoe yeah. to my heart. And this was like, you know, one of the biggest, like I said, anticipated shoes that I was like just dying for. Yeah. Because of the threes I initially did not get, you know, on initial drop, yeah. and that hurt me, it hurt me bad. The details here, again, like you said, that quilted sock liner in the top, just like in the threes, right? Uh huh. The quilt around there. Of course. So we got this to match. Then you've got the aglets, right? So they treated yeah. the aglets on the threes with the work harder. Okay. And this one, if you look really close, it's hard to see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it has Ama Manier on the actual aglet itself. Ah. So we got that on the, these are the Bordeaux kind of colored laces. Or the, what is it? The brush? Burgundy, Burgundy crush. Burgundy crush. Burgundy uh -huh. crush laces. Yep. Then of course they gave you some sail laces as well. Yeah. That have the Amamanya treatment on the Aglas there. Mm -hmm. You've got the vintage outsole at the bottom here, which is not just a straight, just kind of off-white color. It has that kind of burgundy, light pink mix in there as well. You all right there, buddy? Oh the smell? Uh-oh. How's the smell? We didn't get to that yet. Oh my goodness. He jumped the gun. Yo, this smells mm -hmm. like riches. Ooh. It does. Oh my goodness. It smells like a luxury it shoe. That was outstanding. <laughs> Fantabulous. Nice, nice. I've already, I already know what I'm going to rate this shoe. All right, we're getting, we're getting close to the rating. We're not there yet. Of course. But man, this shoe. It's in my head. I'm not done. Let's, no. let's get a little more. Hold up. Up? Let me Let me undo this here. Hey, hey, we got something very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah, let me let y'all know. If you take the right shoe and look at the outside, you'll find a giant square. The hang tag. The hang tag. And on this side, it says it has the Amamanya logo. And on this side, it has the Air Jordan logo. And that's pretty sick. It's actually removable. If you want to keep it on, mm -hmm. then you can keep it on. But that's like keeping the StockX tag on your shoes. Nobody does yeah, that. Right. So don't do that. So <laughs> take it off by doing... Don't break it. By doing that. There and then go. taking it out. There we and go. then if you want to have something hanging up somewhere, you can just hang that up somewhere. Or you just keep it in the box. Yeah. But it's like, you know, you boom, your insignia. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's great, Nigel. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> the tongue, like everything on this shoe just speaks just high quality. Uh -huh, for and sure. I took these out of the box. Like the tongue is all leather all the way up to the top and it has the padded quilted material on the wow. back, uh -huh. right? You fold that down, it's all that same burgundy crush on the back, right? 
They're not like, we're gonna make this part luxury and then the rest of it will just use the basic nylon or things like that. So they outfitted the whole thing in this luxury, you know, cracked leather. Then you've got a snakeskin print around the collar and on the swoosh, now that's not real snakeskin, that's that's <laughs> embossed, but you know, okay. for two hundred dollars you're not getting authentic snakeskin. And I don't know how how durable that would be, but I don't know. But that's one that's one more thing. And then also on the wings that aren't stitched down like typical Jordan ones, yeah. right? Ah, this yeah. kind of has like the off-white appeal to it. You mm -hmm. flip those wings back wow. and there's messages on, on each one. That is sick. On the outside. What does your side say, Nigel? Can you read it? You have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. Side. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Did you really not? <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how to read signatures. <laughs> this guy said sign. I don't know. <laughs> Who else would sign this shoe? Um, James. Jason Whitaker. No, uh, James Whitaker. James. Uh, what's his name? James. James Whitaker. I guess he could. The guy, it's not J Whitman. James Whitaker. Huh? I thought it was Whitman. James Whitner. Man, you got me Whitner. all messed up. <laughs> yeah. The Whitaker group, James yeah. Whitner. I thought it was James Whitner. <clears throat> yeah. No, but this is Michael Jordan's shoe. Oh, right. Right. right? Think right. about that. Yeah. Air Jordan. Right. And then on this side, we have another message which says, learning's a gift even when pain is your teacher. Time sign Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. That's it. Yep. So that's it, man. The, the outsole of the shoe, you've got the burgundy crush on the bottom as well. You know, this could have been just a plain white and burgundy shoe, mm -hmm. but it's not, right? This is, you know, a whole, it's a whole thing. I'm really mad at you right now. Why? Because you really got these for yourself. Like, I'm really mad. Yeah, dude. You weren't even on that release, man. You, I wasn't. You're not, you didn't bring it up once. We <laughs> went to DC. You didn't even know why we were going to DC. I didn't. What was Nigel doing? Because he's 15. On his phone, talking to his friends, Nigel playing games. We just like, oh, we're in DC? Oh, okay, where are we going? I'm on my year. Oh, okay. Sick. Yeah, this wasn't on your radar at all. Yeah, I'm just envious. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry. You enjoyed them though. Thank you. When you're ready to step up to a luxury grade sneaker, mm -hmm. you know, in a few years, uh -huh. you can cop a pair. They'll still be around. Thank you. I promise you. Thanks. Right? But this is something you can wear on a nice night out. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. with a nice outfit, whatever. Rating wise, I mean, I, I don't even think it's even worth me rating. Nah. Because you probably already know. I know. Yeah, yeah, I agree. agree. You agree? I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, yeah. man. Yeah. What I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah. And. <laughs> Obviously, we are big proponents of the group, the collab, you know, again. Oh, they really haven't missed yet. Collaborators of the year. Hopefully, they just, you know, Nike just does more and more collabs yeah. with Ama Maya social status and all the releases. I hope, man, they need to do every release just like they do these releases. Yeah. The in-store raffles are next level, right? The three mm -hmm. was geared towards women. Yep. So women that entered in the store, a lot of them got W. That's nice. And then this one was geared more to the men. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us, a lot of people, I mean, I I know probably at least 20 people mm. that went in the store and got pairs. That's good. Right? Yeah. So, you know, they're really about getting the hands, you know, getting the shoes in the hands of the people in their communities where yeah. they are. Because those stores are, think about it, they're in more urban communities, you know, mm -hmm. cities, and it's not just going out 20 pair to, you know, some resellers and right. botters out yeah. in the suburbs, wherever, yeah. so somebody can try to make a mint. So they're yeah. combating all of that. Hopefully, that's what happened. Yeah. But again, 10 out of 10, I, I love lie. this shoe. Indefinite. So what are your thoughts on the shoe? Were you able to cop? number one, and then what's your rating on it? Like a one to 10 scale, are you with us? Is it, you know, was it lower on your radar? And haven't seen it now, has that, that rating changed? Mm -hmm. But also, if it's your first time here, do us a favor, make sure you hit that notification bell so you stay on top of our heat as we drop it. Last thing we gotta do is throw these on feet so you can see them, and we're gonna head out. Thanks for hanging out. Peace. Peace. Five, four, three, two, one.